Welcome to the Division Gear Guides. The 1.5 update added named gear items and in this guide we'll take a look at them. Currently there are 6 named gear pieces to be found. These pieces all hold a unique talent and are named after certain named enemies from the story missions. There is one gear piece for each gear slot. They can be found through opening field proficiency caches, survival caches or a unique mission or method that we will mention at the specific gear items. Keep in mind that you can only fight these items at world tier 5. The first piece is Barrett's bulletproof vest for the chest piece slot. You can obtain it by eliminating Larray Barrett at the end of the Lexington event center mission. It gives an interesting talent with multiple bonuses. The first is 10% increased skill power when no skills are on cooldown. The second bonus increases your damage by 5% when one skill is on cooldown and the last bonus increases your armor by 10% when both skills are on cooldown. We recommend Barrett's chest piece with any build that isn't sniper oriented but even in a sniper oriented build you could make it work since it's just overall a really good item. The second gear piece is Pharaoh's oxygen mask. It can drop from Joe Pharaoh, the named heavy cleaner from Napalm production site. The unique talent allows you to fire your weapon while being affected by the on-fire status effect. Pharaoh's oxygen mask however isn't as interesting since you can get a lot of exotic damage resilience on any gear, making this item irrelevant. It might be helpful when running missions that are specific to the cleaner factions. The third piece are the shortbow champion pads which can be obtained from Hutch at the end of the medicine field hospital. It has a unique talent that reduces the fuse time on grenades to 0.2 seconds, significantly decreasing the time it takes them to blow up. We have no idea on how to use this talent, it's really not worth it at all. The fourth piece is the Ninja Bike's Messenger Bag. It can be obtained from the named bosses in the Dark Zone. Its unique talent is that you drop one less item and lose 20% less Dark Zone experience when you get killed in the Dark Zone. It's really efficient when you're trying to farm the dark zone, but personally we'd prefer either a bag from a gear set or a high-end gear item. Next up are the Skulls MC Gloves, which can be obtained from the HVT missions and named enemies outside of the dark zone. The unique talent for this piece increases your damage by 16% when no gear set bonuses are active. We made a video on the named enemies outside of the dark zone and the most efficient run. It is linked in the description. The gloves are actually quite interesting, although we haven't seen a very good build with it as of yet. But you can imagine the possibilities are great, since there are some funky talents on the high-end gear pieces. And now for the sixth and last piece, Colonel Bliss's holster. It can be obtained from the general assembly mission. It rewards you with the following talent. Hitting a target consecutively with a sidearm, increases your weapon damage by 2% for 20 seconds. This effect stacks until you hit 10 shots, after which the stack con is consumed and triggers an EMP effect. The effectivity of this piece is limited since it's a bit silly to focus on a build around your sidearm, but if you do, this is the one for you. Use our recommendations that we mentioned just now uh, and earlier in the video for your own builds. Of course it's up to you what you want to use. We wouldn't recommend using all named geared items at once, even if you'd ever manage to get them all. They don't really synergize too, too well together. And that's the end of this guide. We hope you have an overview of the named gear items after update 1.5 in the division. We want to thank you for watching. Rating are as always appreciated. Subscribe for similar content. And if you have any questions, comments or constructive feedback, leave it in the comment section down below.